Hey guys, this week we're going to be talking about packages, specifically how to brew some packages with a great application called Homebrew. Homebrew is an application that was designed for the uh, Apple Macintosh. And what it does is it allows you to install a package manager on your Mac so you can run Unix applications natively on your computer. Now you may not know this, but if you're using a Mac, you're basically running a Unix box with a proprietary GUI, you know, like a graphical user interface that's kind of just slapped right on top of pure Unix. Now, as beautiful and as highly functional as your Mac GUI is, under the hood is a truly powerful workhorse OS, uh, which can give you access to hundreds of thousands of native Unix applications. It's a Unix system. I know this. Now, the only catch being here that in order to install and run all this amazing Unix software goodness, is that you need to install a package manager. And the package manager is used to set up and store all of the Unix components or, com or packages that are needed to run all of these great applications. There's a number of package managers available for the Mac, but probably the best one is Homebrew. And here's how you install it. Okay, so in order to get Homebrew installed on your Mac, the first thing you're going to need to do is fire up your browser and go to the Homebrew uh, website or the Homebrew, if I can say it, the Homebrew homepage, and that would be under brew.sh. There'll be a link in the show notes if you don't feel like typing, but you just go right here and here it is, Homebrew, the missing package manager for Mac OS. There's a ton of information on this site on what Homebrew does and how you can configure it and so on and so forth. Tons of documentation. If you feel like donating, go right here. So there's a, there's a message board, the blog, so on and so forth. But we're here to install Homebrew. Now, Homebrew is a package manager that is very difficult to... Well, no, it's actually incredibly easy to install on Mac. All you need to do is cut and paste. I'm going to copy it right here. This command right here, which you're going to paste into the terminal. So there are two ways to get to the terminal if you're not familiar. The easiest way, of course, is just to hit command space on your keyboard and type in terminal and then hit enter. And there's the terminal. Now you want to go ahead and paste in the command that you just copied from the website. And there's all the instructions you need to install Homebrew on your Mac. So you go ahead and hit enter. Hit return to continue, and away you go. It'll start downloading and installing Homebrew. Now, I've previously installed Homebrew on this PC, hence it didn't ask me for my password, but if you're doing a fresh installation, it will prompt you to enter your password for your account. But other than that, everything you're seeing here will be exactly as you see on your machine. So it'll go through and download and install Homebrew completely, and when it's completed, we'll see the command line appear. And that's essentially it. Homebrew is now installed. So let me just go ahead and clear the page here. So we'll take, uh, we'll, we'll wipe the page clean. Type, just type in clear. And now we can go ahead and just to make sure that Brew is installed successfully, even though we know it actually is. But just to show you, if you just type in Brew dash H, which is for help, you'll get a list of all the brew commands, or at least some of the commands you can use to go ahead and check that it's functional. Now, there is an awful lot of documentation on uh, the Homebrew website, links in the show notes, of course, and uh, that's it. Brew is now installed. You can now install and run Unix applications on your Macintosh, and no doubt in future videos, we'll get into some of the, some of the applications or some of the best ap applications to install and use on your Mac. Thanks for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video or found it instructive, please like, subscribe, and comment down below.